Well, hello there folks and welcome back to The Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. Yes, Sherry again. I've missed it. I'm back. I'm back on it. I'm loving it. I'm going to do another comparison, guys. Earlier, uh, last video I did the Glen Allocky 12 and the Glen Dronach 12. I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit and I'm going to go to the Glen Allocky 15 and the Glen Dronach 15. Revival. This is the Rachel Barry version. So I've got the Billy Walker 15 and the Rachel Barry 15. So the, the last one I had, they were both Billy Walker 12 spot. So this should be a little bit different. It'd be interesting to compare them. Uh, I did do this one, just a quick one on the Glen Allocky 15 guys. I did it not that long ago and I was a wee bit disappointed with it. Um, but as you can see, I'm doing okay with it now. How dark is that? That is the darkest thing. Uh, I've seen for a long, long time. But yeah, I've been enjoying it. I'm going to try and share with you now what the difference is and where it's going and how it's got better as it's gone down the bottle. But just before I crack into these guys, just a friendly reminder from me today. Yeah, I've got to do the housekeeping. If you're a returning subscriber, then thanks very much and welcome back. If you're watching for the first time and whiskey's your thing, you've come to the right place. You may want to consider clicking that subscribe button down below. It's just down there, folks. Doesn't cost you anything. It's free. You're helping the channel on its way to the magical 2K. I know. Sorry, guys. Anyway, enough of the housekeeping. Let's move on to the... I think you get the message. Let's move on to the whiskey. Let's do the colour. I think the Glen Allocky is a little bit darker. But anyway, on the nose, guys, I'll start with the Glen Allocky 15. Again, I can't go over how real how dark that is. It's super, super colour. Guys, if you could smell this room now, the, the sherry is just overpowering this. I wish they could make this into an air freshener or something like that. I'd have it, or an aftershave, maybe. It'd be a great idea, eh? As you can see, guys, I'm out of the shed. I'm back indoors, weather's too bad, uh, it's raining, it's blowing the shed all over the place, it's not good for sound, uh, so I've come back indoors. But, on the nose, Glen Allocky 15. Well, straight up front, this is nutty guys. It's, it's sherry, obviously the sherry's there, but it's really really nutty, it's like a kind of peanut note. But, on the note, it's it's damp, dark. Uh, it's it's like a real night. It's like the weather outside tonight. It's it's cold. It's dark. It's damp. This is a little bit musty, like a kind of wet blanket. But it's it's got that kind of Dunnage note. So I'm pretty sure somewhere along the line, this has been in a Dunnage warehouse, which guys we love. But it's dark and it's damp and it almost almost smells like it's going to be heavy. Lots of dried fruit, raisins, figs, big big dark chocolate note and some coffee. But on my initial um, review of this guys, I was, a wee bit, I was a wee bit disappointed but as this has gone down the bottle it's, it's it's improved. I can't tell you how much it's improved. It's, it's got better and better and better. Um, although I've not been reviewing sherries, I've still been drinking the sherries. But this this is one. Of, this is the one I've been pr probably going to the most over the last couple of months. Just keep going back to it. Whether I'm feeling I'm trying to just get my money's worth out of it, but no, I'm, I've been really enjoying it. But yeah, it's dark and it's damp and it's coffee and it's chocolate. It's a real, it's rich on the nose. It's got much, much better, guys. That's basically in a nutshell what I'm trying to say. Let's taste it. Slanch. Okay. On that initial first sip, it's got a mix of things. It's, it's not an intense arrival. It's building slowly. It's nutty. It's walnut. I think on the nose it was more kind of peanut on the nose, but on the taste it's more kind of walnut. 
big, big raisin. It's all raisin. Raisin and sherry. It's like a bag of raisins with some sherry poured all over it. It's just dripping in sherry. As it's developing, it's got a little bit more spicy. So there's a spicy ginger coming in. Real, real nice spicy ginger. And then you've got all those dark fruits are coming now. It's dried fruits, dark fruits, plums. The raisins dominating. There's like a really, really juicy plum. It's mouth watering. Here comes that kind of Christmas cake note. So you've got the raisins, cherry. It's like a cakey, the best way of explaining it. It's pastry. It's like a cake. Some sweetness. I've got some maybe some icing on it. It's just like a, a Christmas cake. Got a nice spiced oak. It's more complex now, guys, than it was when I tried it last time. It has definitely, definitely got better. There's a real nice woody note as well. It's quite oaky and it's quite woody. And then I've got some ginger and some cinnamon. Fantastic. Let me just try a wee bit more of this. It's that nice ginger cinnamon, spicy note. When I did this last time, I said it was the, when I compared both of these, it was like the the volume had been turned down on the Glenallachy 15. I think it's turned slightly back up again now. It's not on full blast. It's not. It's not boom, boom, boom. But it's 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 better than it was before. I'm not as disappointed as I was last time. It's got a little bit salty now as well. Let me do the finish. On the finish, guys. It's a little bit dry. But then I've got a nice, really, really nice orange peel. I don't know where that orange has come from now, but the orange has come. Lots of dark chocolate. Some coffee. A bit woody. It's a bit salty. And the finish is a, it's quite a long finish now. Whereas before, I think the finish dropped off very early when I, when I first opened the bottle and I had a few drams out of it. Finish is much longer. It's a little bit salty on the end, but lots of chocolate. Lots of coffee, lots of wood, and some nice orange peel. Super. So, score. I'm going to score this now, guys, an 88. I think when I looked back, I scored it an 85, so it's had quite a substantial jump, and it's only been two, three months, I think, since I did it. So it's improved no end. So, as I said before, guys, I probably recommended not buying it before. This one, I'd, I'd recommend buying it, but don't be put off with it initially. You'll give it some time. It needs some time in a bottle. It needs some time to oxidise, but it'll get there, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. So, now, let's move on to the Daddy. Glen Drawn Up 15 Revival. If you're a follower of the channel and you've watched me regularly, guys, you'll know this is my, this is my dram. This is the one that changed life for me. Turned me from a collector to a drinker. A sipper. Responsible sipper. But this was this was the one. So but it was it wasn't this one really, it was the old revival. So this is the new revival. The Rachel Barry one. So I'm gonna try and compare this now. Wow. On the nose. Lovely. This one again, I think is, yeah, it's PX and Oloroso, so they're both comparable. 46% non-chill filtered natural color, super. Box is ticked, nose. I'm trying not to compare this to the old revival, so I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna compare it purely against this one. So on this one, on this nose, it's fresh, it's clean. Sherry's, it's a no-brainer, guys, is the sherry's there. But again, this one's nutty as well. Got the, again those raisins, sultanas, dried fruits. A little bit of cherry there now. I think it's a dark cherry though, rather than a red cherry. 
You've got again, you've got some space. And it's okay. But this one's a little bit sweeter again than the Glenallochy 15. Got a nice brown sugar note from this one. That's a little bit of an orange citrus. I think I picked, picked up a little bit of orange on the finish of the Glenarchy 15. There's a little bit of orange on the note of this one. Okay. I could go on and on and on guys, but the nose again is just... If you're a lover of Sherry guys, and this, the, the Glendronach is definitely a no-brainer. This is just awesome, awesome whiskey on the nose. I'm gonna get, I don't want to give a spoiler, but I'm going to get to the palate now. Cheers, guys. When it comes to wow, guys, I don't think wow is good enough a word for this. This this is just... No spoilers, but this is just a masterclass. On the initial first sip, it's very drying on the palate. And then you've got those dried fruits, raisins. Sultanas. Then as it goes into the development, it becomes really, really mouth-watering. Fantastic mouthfeel. Got a nice juicy plum. As if it's just dripping with juice, plum juice. A bit spicy. Lots and lots of dark fruits, dark plums. The orange is again prominent in it, so there's a lot of oranges. But this time it's like a, it's like a blood orange. It's full bodied. Let's try some more. Sorry guys. Just in research, it's all we have in research. So, just for you guys, what a job. Full bodied, beautifully balanced, lots of dark chocolate. Wow. Beautiful nose, beautiful in the palate. Let's do the finish. Nice, real nice spice notes as well there. It's complex guys, it's just, it's changing all the time. The longer I sit with it, it's just, it's giving me more and giving me more and giving me more. Finish. Okay. On the finish, it's dry. It's warming. It's long. Some really, really nice tannins on the end. And it's spicy. So as it finishes, as it as it goes through the arrival, it's dry it's, and then it becomes it's lots of dried fruits, raisins, figs. And in the development it gets a bit more juicier, a bit more mouth watering. Complex. Beautifully balanced. As it heads through the development towards the finish, it's getting some dark chocolate, dark fruits, juicier. And as it heads into the finish, it's dry, it's warming, some beautiful tannins, but it becomes very, very spicy on the finish. Really, really nice. It's even it's almost peppery on the finish, but it's a beautiful, beautiful dram from start to finish. I know I said it earlier, but this is a whiskey masterclass. So, and it's every time I drink it, it's the same. It's just a beautiful, beautiful whiskey. Everybody should have a Glendronach 15 in their cabinet. If you're watching this video and you don't have a Glendronach 15, go out and find one. 
Does it matter if it's Billy Walker's 15 or it's Rachel Barry's 15? Compar comparing the two 15s is that, and it's a, that's another video. But this one, everyone should have this in their cabinet. And for the money, it's 65 pounds, 60, 65 pounds. It's a no brainer. So if you want a Christmas present and somebody's asking you what you get, tell them to get you a Glen Drawn Up 15. So I know I'm waffling guys, so I'm gonna give you a score on this one. This season, for me, it's, it's easily 92 out of 100. And if I sit here any longer, I might add a point here, like Ralphie does. I might add a point for this, I might add a point for that. But at the minute, but it's, it's my whiskey, that's where my heart is. Um, but guys, hope you've enjoyed. If you're looking for a present for Christmas, then any of these would be great. I feel a wee bit sad for Glen Allerkey 15 because this, this has got better. And to put it against this one, I think it's like putting, uh, well, what's the best way of explaining it? It's like putting Frank Bruno against Muhammad Ali. I think that's probably uh, the best way of explaining it. But this has got better. So again, if you're a beginner to whiskey and you're into sherry and you like the sherry road, the next level up, I think, would be the Glenallachie 15. I think it's difficult to go any further on sherry after the Glenallachie 15. I think after that, then you're looking at single casks and you're looking at cast strengths and you're looking at real kind of out there whiskies. But that's not what we're here for, guys. These are both ideal for Christmas. It's the time of year. It's that warming, dark fruits. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. As you can probably see, guys, I've, I've finished both glasses, so that gives you an idea that I, I quite like both of these. Um, that's me. I'm Alan. Until the next one, guys, all I've got left to say is, as always, the pleasure is in the sharing, and I'll see you all good. See you all soon. See you all in the next one. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.